Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty. So today we will discuss the basic topic of physics that is physical quantity then we will define its types and then we will proceed further and we will define unit. So before discussing this topic let us suppose I will say you can you measure this this pen. So obviously the answer will be yes of course we can measure this with the help of uh, centimeter scale or simply meter scale. So if I will ask you another question that is can we measure the hateness or love of a person? Obviously the answer will be no because we cannot apply laws or rules of physics or science onto that person on love or care or hateness. Basically we have two types of quantities. The first one will be those quantities which can be measured by the physics class by applying physics class so second will be those quanti quantities which cannot be measured so simply the quantity which can be measured we call that very quantity is, is physical quantity right so that means all those quantities all those things which we are studying in the physics we call them as physical quantities right so physical quantity is nothing it's just simply those quantities all those quantities which are measurable that means we can measure those things. Those are called physical quantities, right? Okay. Coming to the second point, before discussing its types, let us understand first what is measurement. Measurement is what? It is the comparison of an unknown quantity. It is the comparison. That means when we compare things or two things, we compare. First thing is unknown quantity. That means we don't know. That means we don't know this quantity. Unknown. We have to find this value. Let us end with what we are comparing actually unknown quantity with a known quantity. Let us suppose I give you the example. I have to measure this one, this pen. So how can I measure? I will simply bring the scale. Then after I will count from. I will just uh, coincide this zero with that thing. Then after I will I can simply measure the uh, length of this pen, right? So that thing pen is unknown quantity here, and the scale is known quantity. This known quantity is also called as standard quantity okay later on we will discuss what is this is also called a unit right okay coming to the types of physical quantities mostly we have two types of quantities here on the basis of independence on each other whether they dependent on each other or not let us suppose those who are already a government employees or some other doing businesses they are not dependent on father's property that means here like that those quantities which depend on other physical quantities those are called derived quantities and those which are not dependent on other quantities those are called fundamental quantities so what is fundamental what are fundamental quantities? those quantities which can which are independent of other quantities they are not depending any other quantities they are the basic quantity that means they, that's why they are fundamental fundamental means the basic basic of uh, basic quantities okay right so in physics we have seven fundamental quantities the first one is mass length time luminous intensity temperature mole of substance and current these are seven quantities which are measurable i mean these are physical quantities but they are the basic quantity that's why we call them as fundamental quantities coming to the derived units those physical quantities which are dependent on other physical quantity that means they are dependent they are depending on other things. Let me give you an example. Force is equal to the mass into acceleration. Mass into acceleration. That means force is always, it will be dependent on mass and acceleration. So let us suppose I will give another example. That's a momentum. Momentum is the, pro, uh, momentum is the product of mass into velocity. So that means momentum will be always dependent on mass, velocity. So coming to the ve velocity. Velocity is what? Velocity is displacement over time. That means it is depending on two quantities. That is displacement is one. Another is time. So all those quantities which are dependent on other quantities. Those are called derived physical quantities. Right? So before discussing this one fundamental unit. Let us first understand this unit. What is unit? Unit is what? It is nothing. It's a simply a reference we can say object. A reference. Sometimes we call it as reference object also. How? So simply it's defined as the fixed and well defined. Fixed and well defined quantity. By the help of which same physical quantities can be measured. So let us suppose. We are making anything. Let us suppose this is the object. We are making this as a reference object. That means 
जो भी हमें मेजर करना होता है ना बाकी सारा कुछ वो इसके साथ हम कंपेयर करेंगे सिंपली इस ऑब्जेक्ट के साथ सो वट इज यूनिट यूनिट इज नथिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल एनी रेफरेंस ऑब्जेक्ट वी आर टेकिंग वी आर गिविंग द नेम यूनिट हेयर सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर ए पर्टिकुलर फिजिकल क्वान्टिटी देर विल बी ए पर्टिकुलर रेफरेंस यूनिट रेफरेंस ऑब्जेक्ट और रेफरेंस वी कैन से रेफरेंस वट इज दैट रेफरेंस यूनिट कॉल समटाइम्स वी कॉल इट एज स्टैंडर्ड यूनिट और समटाइम्स वी कॉल इट एज ब्री यूनिट राइट सो यूनिट इज वॉट इट इज नथिंग इट इज सिंपली द रेफरेंस ऑब्जेक्ट और रेफरेंस थिंग राइट सो हाउ वी कैन मेक दिस यूनिट देर मस्ट बी सम करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ दिस यूनिट सो टू डिफाइन दोज करेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो फर्स्ट वन इट इज वेल डिफाइंड इट मस्ट बी क्लियरली डिफाइंड ओके रिप्रोड्यूसिबल डैट मीन्स रिप्रोड्यूसिबल मीन्स कॉपी ऑफ दैट वेरी थिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेटर सपोज हम कॉपी करेंगे इस चीज़ को लेटर सपोज दिस इज द रेफरेंस ऑब्जेक्ट अगर इस रेफरेंस ऑब्जेक्ट को हम कॉपी आराम से कर सकते हैं तो उसको हम रिप्रोड्यूस बोलते हैं ओके अनचेंजेबल अनचेंजेबल मीन्स वॉट लेटर सपोज इन फिजिक्स वी आर मोस्टली डीलिंग विद द फिजिकल कंडीशन फिजिकल कंडीशन मीन्स वैन वी आर मोस्टली वी आर डीलिंग विद द टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर सो लेटर सपोज इफ आई विल इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर वट विल बी द इफेक्ट ऑफ ऑन दिस So obviously there must be not no change in this. That's why we call it as unchangeable. Unit must be that thing by varying the temperature or pressure. By varying the temperature or pressure, it, it should not be changeable or it should not change. The third thing is measurable size. That means neither it must be larger nor it must be smaller. So it must be of a comparable size, so that we can measure that thing. These are the three, four characteristics of a unit. So we will define what is a fundamental unit. The unit of a fundamental physical quantity. We have some quantities here: mass, length, time table. So mass has the fundamental unit, that's a kilogram, and length is the second. Kelvin is the temperature. Time is second. Luminous intensity is candela. Candela is not the scientist's name, right? Okay, mole of substance it will be mole and current will be ampere. So derived unit will be what the unit of a derived physical quantity. इसका जो unit होगा ना तो उसको हम simply क्या बोलते हैं? Derived physical quantity. उसमें से for example force has a unit that's called a newton. So newton is itself kilogram meter per second square. Right? So pascal is there unit of pressure. So pascal is what newton per meter square. That means force per unit area. This was all about today's lecture. So inshallah next time we will discuss the. system of units